Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Paola Serna, journalist at NTN24, and Luis Almagro Lemes, Secretary General of the Organization of American States. Right here. Thank you, thank you very much. I uh, wanted to thank you all for being here with us. And uh, of course, I'm glad to be here with you, uh, Secretary Almagro. Uh, thank you to Concordia for inviting me to talk about this important issue about uh, women in politics and of course to University of Miami. We're gonna be talking today about what is taking place uh, with women's access to, uh, to political power in our uh, hemisphere, even though uh, we rank uh, better than other countries uh, in the world where there, there is a lot of work to do. But I would like to begin highlighting the good aspects, the good progress that we have um, doing do, during the last uh, four decades. We've been working, the, the whole region has been working hardly to gain access to political power for uh, women in the hemisphere. How do you see this progress, Secretary Amar? I feel that we are working uh, very hard and we are getting worse. Uh, and if you see uh, in perspective uh, the region, we only have two women heads of state, uh, heads of government uh, in the whole region, Mia Motley in Barbados and, and uh, Xiomara Castro in, in, uh, in Honduras. So uh, we still have a, a lot to do in order to give uh, equal opportunities, to have an, uh, something beyond a speech, to have uh, the real uh, staff of politics uh, making possible for women to access uh, the most relevant uh, positions in politics, to change our views of how uh, politics should be um, worked and how people can engage and uh, to take care of the situation of women, why they have some or a lot of disadvantages uh, related to their access to, to power and politics. So uh, we have some projects, uh, you know, at the Organization of American States, one very special group uh, that is uh, uh, our dear friend Laura Chinchilla that was um, right here before us, uh, and she started uh, uh, a work uh, making, uh, trying to make possible for every every woman in the in the region to uh, have this uh, possibility of uh, reaching the positions uh, that they deserve. And uh, democracy is uh, one thing, and uh, but democracy in our region is a lot more of democratization and a lot more of equality. And so far, uh, it's very hard to see that. Mm -hmm. Secretary Almagro. I, you just mentioned we only have uh, two women in, in the continent serving as, uh, as president. And uh, according to UN, 70% of parliaments and 70% of uh, majors in Latin America are men. We only have uh, here in the US nine women serving as uh, governors. And this shows there is a lot of work um, to do. I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think is holding uh, back this progress of uh, women in uh, politics here in uh, our women's sphere? Practically everything. The way we do politics, how we talk in politics, how we deal with uh, women in politics, uh, how we... Uh, um, the social arrangement that we have, uh, that uh, increases the vulnerabilities for women to uh, act in politics. Um, and that can mean that, for example, men, we have more time than women. And uh, uh, the care system is based mainly on, wi on women uh, in the whole region. Um, uh, women, professional women, they have m more difficulties to have, uh, more problems to, in order to uh, uh, do uh, the needed extra hours that politics uh, demand, uh, things like that. And, and of course, uh, uh, ideology, uh, and if you see the whole history of ideology, is, uh, has left women behind practically every, everywhere. Um, 
My uh, feeling is that we need a lot more of affirmative action in order to change some uh, cultural aspects of our life in politics. Uh, and uh, we need a lot more in order to make our so societies a little bit more uh, balanced and unequal. So far we don't uh, change some pat cultural patterns, it will be very difficult. Uh, if you see um, men always uh, impose themselves in, uh, in every political party situation, in every, uh, in, in every contest, in every uh, campaign, and, and, uh, and of course um, sometimes this become, uh, it becomes very rough. So we need a, we need a completely different, uh, completely different approach. And uh, the thing is that uh, we have not developed as societies in the in uh, in the right way. We are still uh, dealing with a lot of patterns of the 20th century and in some cases of the 19th century. And like that. Uh, it will be very difficult to, to, to improve the situation. So we need <coughs> affirmative action, we need to change the cultural patterns, we need to change the patriarchal mood that we permanently have, and we need to have uh, fair conditions uh, for uh, competition in politics and that can attract women and not make them look uh, strange uh, within the system. Secretary Magro, um we see that the uh, presidential uh, formulas in which presidential candidates involve a woman uh, have been effective. This is the case recently in Colombia and uh, also here in, in the United States. Um, I wanted to ask you if it, is this more an issue of uh, political marketing or is it is a really uh, a matter of inclusion? Uh. It can be both things, or it can be even more things than those two. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's true that um, uh, candidates everywhere, and I, and I don't want to mention any country, and I don't want to mention any candidate, but it is true that uh, um, today uh, a formula it has better possibilities uh, uh, to attract more uh, people, more uh, voters, if um, uh, includes, of course, um, includes a woman. Uh, but uh, I, I, um, uh, I think that uh, that is uh, is, a, is a weak starting point. I think we we have had uh, not so long ago strong women as uh, as presidents in in mm -hmm. countries in the region. And, uh, and definitely there are, there are needs in order to uh, implement that, to make it sustainable and to make it possible uh, to keep working. Not a part of, a, of a, an equation, uh, cannot be a part of a formula. It, it has to be uh, a need for uh, uh, equality and democratization. And this has to be a, has to have a, a moral and ethical purpose, uh, not uh, not a, uh, uh, only a convenience uh, uh, for the moment purpose. Mm. So we we need to to balance that a little bit uh, more in order to have this purpose of uh, democratization more uh, um, uh, stronger and and more valid for for politics in the region. Uh, Secretary Amagro, although uh, women uh, have the right to participate uh, equally in uh, democratic uh, governance, we see that, uh, as you mentioned before, women have uh, more responsibilities, the kids, the house, uh, also the salaries are still lower than, uh, than men. What's the responsibility for these to don't happen or stop happening from the states and from men also? Yes, uh, as I said, it's, it, it, it is a lot about changing c cultural patterns. Uh, this, uh, 
machista, chauvinist, uh, patriarchal society uh, that we have are, are very hard for women. And, and, and it is so hard, uh, and even harder when uh, men don't realize that how hard it is for, we it is for women to, to be part of uh, the political system and to uh, have a sustainable project in the political system. So there is something that uh, we, uh, we are far behind. Um, our, uh, our approach is um, not, the, the right, uh, not the right one. I, uh, you know, it's uh, how society has been built and, uh, and, and the demands that they ha it has on, uh, on every member of the society. It, it has not been structured in order to make uh, uh, the, the, the life of, of women uh, uh, better. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a lot of st structure in a way how we how we use women in order to achieve our political aims and objectives. And there is where we, we, are, we, are, we are not doing the, the right things. Mm -hmm. and, and one of these is, is paying less for the, same, uh, for the same job, for the same work. And that is uh, a, a big challenge. We, we have this, uh, this issue at the, uh, at the Organization of American States itself. Uh, and uh, I th see that uh, um, for example, we, we have a, a, a parity uh, policy within the organization. And we have achieved that uh, at, uh, at many levels, except yet for the trust positions. And that is something that has to be an imperative uh, uh, for, the next, uh, for the next two years, at least. <coughs> uh, and, uh, and the thing is that um, when I... When I ask for okay to send me a, a woman to cover a certain position, that um, a, a trust position, uh, usually they send me the CV of a, a man my age or a little bit more or a little less, and uh, with white hair like me, or uh, and, uh, and that have been in politics doing the same for quite a, quite a, than me for quite a while. So we, uh, and, and this from uh, the most developed countries and the most uh, advanced societies that we have in the, in the hemisphere. So we have a challenge there. And uh, we have not been able to, to reverse that challenge because no. uh, when it comes to the moment that, okay, I need this, the recommendation that comes is a completely different one. And, and so it that is, is very difficult to advance. It's yeah. very difficult to, to make uh, improvements under these conditions. Secretary Magri, the, the other day I was uh, reading on the internet uh, a comment that caught uh, my attention. Uh, some, someone wrote, if uh, Vladimir Putin was a woman, we wouldn't be the way we are now in the world. Do you agree with it? And how do you see a world uh, with more global participation of women in politics? Uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a world with more, more women in, in power uh, would be a, a more uh, democratized world in many aspects. And, uh, not within the political systems of democracy, but uh, a democratized in the sense that uh, I have our, uh, the countries of this world have somehow managed to balance their societies to make them more equal, so to make them uh, uh, reducing these differences and reducing uh, vulnerabilities. So um, I think that uh, can bring uh, a new ground for, for new understandings in politics. I hope, I hope so. So it's, uh, I think it, can, it, can, it definitely can only be a better, a better world if we are able to resolve these matters. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, we would have a, 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 a very a different world and a much better one. Uh, somehow, we, our political system, are managing to exclude uh, half of uh, its population uh, in the 21st century. So we 
with a change in that, definitely we will have better conditions for, for improvement and, and, and for a, a better world. Um, then politics are politics, and we do what we can whenever we can. <laughs> Secretary Almagro, I would like to ask you about the inclusion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to ask uh, about women on the DLG TBQ community. Yes. And how do you see the access? Uh, to political power of uh, women of these groups. And I wanted to ask you uh, about the transgender women, considering um, that some of them, or most of them, have been rejected sometimes. How do you see the future of the hemisphere uh, for the, uh, to give this opportunity to these uh, women? We cannot have other future but that, that we are all equal. Whatever else is, 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 uh, is nonsense. Uh, we, all persons, all people in the world are equal. All of all, all. We cannot have any kind of discrimination and that is absurd by now. So we, we need affirmative action. We need stronger convictions about equality. We need to work equality permanently in politics and we need to definitely have this uh, Thing that all persons are created equal, mm -hmm. and that it has to be a reality. I, I hope it could have been a reality uh, many years ago, many centuries ago. It is not till now. So we have, we should have a political commitment to do that, and and de definitely allow every person in this world to enjoy its rights as they, everybody deserves. But how can we do it? Do, do we need more programs, more? Uh um, I don't know, more education, how can we deal with it? Yeah, it's, it's, we start, uh, mm -hmm. uh, education is a starting point. Uh, uh, education is a starting point. Uh, and then uh, we need to, to give good examples and we need to, to have a commitment and we need to have affirmative actions uh, all related to, to this. We, we cannot uh, afford anymore to have uh, uh, this kind of world where some people can look down other people. That is, uh, is, is the worst possible. Everybody has suffers at certain moment this kind of, uh, of, uh, of arrangements in our society, and, and that, but that is not acceptable at any level and in any way. Mm -hmm. But we work over four decades ago, we start working with uh, inclusion of women. And uh, we've, seen, we've seen progress because we, we see more uh, women in, in we politics. See, we, see, we see a lot of effort to mm -hmm. sound uh, politically correct. It doesn't mean that we are doing what is correct in politics. It's completely different. It's completely different. We, are, we, are, we try to sound politically correct. Uh, that is an effort that all politicians are doing everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, but that it doesn't mean that we are doing the right thing for making politics uh, correct, and that is a, is a completely different story. And, I, uh, and day by day we, are, we, are, uh, we can feel ashamed of, of some kind of discrimination somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Secretary Almagro, uh, do you think it is time to have a woman in the OAS? Yes, it was time when I, it was my time. I, sh I should have been a woman, and uh, and, uh, <coughs> and, uh, uh, and it didn't work. I, and it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> and at the end, I was competing with other two men, and uh, and, uh, and finally winning the, the election. But it's it's definitely time to to have a to have a woman at the organization, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it should be an imperative for the next. Uh, for the next election, I think so. And when do you think this could be? <laughs> this, uh, uh, well, my, my period ends uh, 26 May 2025. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, uh, that could be a good starting point. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Do you think we are going in a, in a good path to, to achieve equality finally for women in, in politics? We're going to, do you think we're doing the right things to do? Sometimes yes, sometimes not. I, I feel that there are a lot of uh, uh, backlashes to all this. And, uh, and as I said, uh, we make a, an effort of uh, looking politically correct, 
uh, without doing the, the, the right things. And, uh, and that is, uh, is, a, is we have a, a, a situation that, uh, as we started the conversation, we have only have two women in, in power in the, in the whole hemisphere. That means uh, very, very, very little. And uh, that means that we should we are doing very, very, very bad. So I hope that uh, this uh, very weak starting point can only mean that we can do better in the future. Thank you, Secretary Almagro. I want to uh, extend my gratitude to uh, Concordia and the Uni University of Miami for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.